Is it important to sit in the same spot for meditation every day? And second, is it good to meditate if we are exhausted? Is it required to sit in the same spot? Uh, no, that's not required. You see, scriptures differentiate all religious slash spiritual activities, so to speak, in two, three categories. One is called the Nitya Karma. One is called Namethik Karma. And the third one is called Kamya Prayog. In Nitya Karma, <coughs> It's like you going to the school. You mark your attendance and you can sit in any chair. You can take any table. No problems. It's something you do every day. That is not really going to take you very far, by the way. You should know this. And a good example of that is you look around, you see people who are well into later years of their life, their lives, they have been chanting their whole life, yet they have the same issues as a 15 year old. Clearly, their worship, their nitya karma, did not really do what perhaps it should have done, or it could have done. The second is namethik karma. Namethik karma is like an examination hall. You go there, you don't get up for three hours, unless you have to take a new answer sheet. So in meditation as well, there is the ordinary course. You do something and you're reinforcing it day in, day out. For that, there are no real rules as such, except the ones you define yourself or accept the ones that have been passed on to you. But when it comes to doing meditation for a specific purpose, for a specific number of days, then it becomes namethik karma. For example, if you look at the rites of Purush Charana in a, of a mantra, you say, for example, for the next 40 days, I'm going to chant X. And I'm going to chant it Y number of times then you really have to maintain a strict routine. Why? There's a saying, you know, in, uh, in Hindi. It says, Karat karat abhyas ke jadamati hot sujaan. Ahavat javat rassi ke silpar padat nishan. That with practice, even the most stupid person can become wise, just like a rope that travels in, in a well that, that is rubbing against stone makes mark on that stone. So during the metric curve, day in, day out, you stick to the same routine because you are trying to create lines in your brain. You are trying to create new habits, you are trying to create new tendencies, you are trying to break off some existing tendencies, existing tendencies that you may have. At that time, not only it is important to sit in the same spot, actually you also have to do it at the same time. You have to chant the same number of times. Why? Because you are training your mind now. Training requires discipline, simple. There is no training of anything without discipline. So doing, sitting in the same spot, from that angle requires, the answer is yes, but generally, no, you don't have to sit in the same spot. Is it good to meditate if we are exhausted? Tell me a time when you're not exhausted. <laughs> you're always exhausted. So rather than not meditating at all, just meditate for five minutes, ten minutes. You commit to going to the gym and you say, I'm feeling lazy, you know, maybe tomorrow. Don't do that. 
go even if for just 10 minutes. Because as it is when you sit down to meditate, your mind is not going to let you meditate anyway. So on top of that, if you also break your external routine, you're not helping yourself. You know what I mean? So that is why it's important to, if you're absolutely naked, if you're totally exhausted, then, you know, I don't think you'd be asking me if you should be meditating. I think you'll just be going off to bed. How to reduce the external noise? To hear the inner voice. You know, this is the easiest of all questions because the goal, the challenge is not to ex reduce the external noise. The goal is, it's the bloody mind. It's the internal noise. Uh, the challenge, sorry. The challenge is your internal noise. It's not the external noise. Your internal noise is doing the talking that is stopping you from hearing the one voice you want to hear. There are a lot of voices in your head. What you really want is all those should go away except the one you want to hear. So how to, do, how to reduce it? So you start small, you hold crisp, clear sessions of meditation. You will experience a stillness of the body, of the mind. Still body leads to a still mind and still mind leads to a still body. Thereafter, it wouldn't matter. Once you become aware, it wouldn't matter. 